Autobots wage their battle to destroy the evil forces of the Decepticons, the Transformers. Robots in disguise. I don't like the idea of Megatron getting the anti-matter formula. He can't be trusted. Sure can't, manifold mouth, and neither can the rest of you. Let's cook a few crankcases. Say goodbye to your terminals, Autobots. Maybe we should have gone to Hell Prime after all. Hey guys, welcome back for this video, which is going to be um, one of the last Transformer unboxing videos, which I'm, I'll be doing for uh, the time being. Uh, haven't got any orders out. Um, probably gonna get some new ones at the start of the next month. And yeah, this is going to be an Autobot as well. The previous one I did was uh, Magic Square Optimus Prime, which is a very cool, very cool bot. Did have some problems with the transformation. Not sure what, what that was all about, but in the end it turned out to be fine and it looks amazing. Highly recommend it. And this one is his second in command, I think. Which is the Autobot called and I'm expecting this transformation to be somewhat similar to a smokescreen one of the transformers I've done before in the past I think the transformation is about the same the car uh, it's a different type of car and the robot looks different as well of course different color schemes um, but yeah judging by the legs and the feet and the chest I'm expecting it to be somewhat similar so this is the front of the box it's a masterpiece knockoff MP17 police car, uh, a Nissan Fairlady 280ZT. This is the side of the box. The other side, top part of the box, and the bottom, a little bit scrunched up on the top. This is the back side. We've got him standing there with Optimus as well, but that's the masterpiece Optimus by Takara Tomy. These are the contents of the package. I've just gotten the booklet for the transformation and the trading card. So no extra accessories, I don't think. But let's take a look at the inside of the box. Right, we do get the shoulder cannons. I did not see them on here but he does come with the shoulder cannons which is a good thing i was hoping uh, that would be the case it doesn't show in the box anywhere i don't think that doesn't seem to show but... and it's got a nice big uh, gun car itself and this gun and the two shoulder cannons now one thing i did not like about the smokescreen robot was uh, the way the the shoulder guns were supposed to be uh, plugged into little latches which were pretty loose i uh, didn't really like it you couldn't really make them look to the sides even I just didn't think that was a nice way of uh, engineering it, but we'll see how this one turns out. As for the trading card in the booklet, we got them right here. Masterpiece Pro MP17. With some Japanese and some stats. And the manual. Yeah, they don't show them here with the shoulder cannon, cannons either, so it's kind of weird. And the transformation, which I guess I won't be needing, but you never know with these uh, modern transformers. Sometimes certain parts are a bit tricky. As for the car. The 
door doesn't seem to line up entirely. Oh, I don't. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be using it in robot mode anyway, so I don't really care about that. It's pretty tight. And the bottom cable, of course. So yeah, let's just dig into it. I'm, I'll be changing the camera angle and uh, try and transform this robot. So what I'm expecting is uh, I'm gonna have to like squeeze it somewhere, turn it somewhere. The back part is already a little bit loose here. So that might be where to start. Open the doors and see where that leads me. So um, here it goes. It's been a while since I've transformed the smoke screen, so I'm not I'm not sure how I how I did that. And that was probably one of my earlier transformations. All right, guys, I think this is the uh, transformation for Prowl. Um, just had to refresh my memory uh, again about how to do it on, uh, how I did it on smoke screen. 
it is basically about the same transformation. Um, not entirely sure about certain minor parts. I do think this figure does look cooler than Smokescreen does, even though Smokescreen is one of my more favorite designs. Um, this one looks a little bit more streamlined yet bulkier or something. One of the things I didn't like about Smokescreen is the way the chest sticks out. It's, uh, it's too sleek and could have been a little bit more bulky, I think. Um, it looks very cool. The way to connect the shoulder cannons is about the same uh, as with a uh, smokescreen, but these things are made of a little bit rubbery material, so you can basically sort of move them around a little bit easier. Um, but it's not the best. It's not the best way to attach cannons to a robot, I don't think. But um, yeah, let's go into the articulation of the character. Um, let's move these out of the way. His head can rotate 360 around. And a little bit to the back side, slight, not so much to the front. No sideways pivot. This is what his face sculpt looks like. I gotta say, it looks better than it looked on the pictures. Because of his uh, doors right here, he can do the he cannot do the full 360 round, but the mechanism does allow you to do that. A shoulder extension, high up, like uh, 135 uh, degrees or something like that. You can angle it in different positions. Um, I'm not sure how it was in the cartoon, but I guess I would have liked the wheel to be showing a little bit more on the side or something like that, maybe to the front even. Not entirely sure if this is the way it's supposed to be done. It seems to be that way. We got a double jointed elbow, which is nice. Hardly any articulation on the hands, no thumb movement, open grip, close grip as can be expected by uh, for the car bots in the Masterpiece line. Um, we got a torso swivel. The legs can do a kick to the front, not all the way to 90 degrees, so that's somewhat limited. To the backside, he can do a full 90 degrees or almost 90 degrees. A kick extension, but it is a bit loosey as you can see, it doesn't hold. Is that a screw or a, it's just a pin, so I can't really tighten it. Um, thigh rotation right here. Double jointed knee. Oh, that's very nice. And no real ankle movement, maybe a little bit to the inside. Um, but you can make up for that with all the movements which are available on the legs. A little bit loose joints here and there, but it only cost me like 30 bucks or something like that. So that's a pretty good deal, I think, for a masterpiece looking knockoff. Takara Tomy, non-official, yet very G1 looking transformer. I like it, it looks cool, very dynamic posing is, uh, is possible on this uh, figure, um, yeah I would recommend it. So let me just put him next to his leader Optimus and give you guys a couple of uh, pictures and videos uh, of this character in uh, full rotation around it, which will be presented after this video. See you guys for uh, the next video and thank you guys for joining. Later!